I'm a chef, damn it. So, this mushroom right here, uh, we have some eggs. We have some of this good old creme fraiche. If you don't know what creme fraiche is, I'll tell you later. And we're gonna want one of my favorites because I eat about 24 of them a day, right? And one of my uh, favorite chefs, Gordon Ramsay, he does this and he kills it every time. He makes it look so easy and so sophisticated and so elegant. I'm just gonna make you hungry. <laughs> so, a couple of ingredients here. Mushrooms, some tomatoes on the vine. I have some sourdough. They already cut it for me. I use it to cut them a little bit thicker. I have some chives. I have some butter. I have some of that real butter. I have four eggs. And, oh, I have some creme fraiche. <laughs> and it magically came back to me, see? <laughs> it's a slingshot. But. I'm gonna take you over here. What we're gonna do is watch this recipe. It is the perfect egg every time. Every time. Watch it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these little tomatoes I have here. I'm gonna pop these off. Pop that off. Pop that off. We already washed them down. We rub them down with a little of this. We didn't wash these mushrooms because you don't put mushrooms on the water. So what I'm gonna do is get a little bit of oil, put them inside, just let them sit. Take these tomatoes, put those inside as well, and we'll just let them sit there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this. One, two, three, four, and our butter. Put this inside, we're gonna go over low heat, very low heat, and we're gonna keep going on and off, on and off, no salt, no pepper, we're not gonna disturb this, and we're gonna just keep swirling. It's gonna be like how you have to do like with a uh, risotto, right, where you just keep going and going and going, but that's what's gonna make it so perfect. If you hear that tomatoes there popping open, Right, not doing anything for them. It's getting a little sizzle on them. A little oil, nothing more. Here, it's gonna go low. And we'll scrim it right inside. Just right inside. Low heat. These eggs right here, with just these tomatoes and mushrooms, uh, you can go to a restaurant and you'll pay about 40 bucks for them. That's for an egg and some mushroom and a couple of tomatoes. And take that off. You know how they say patience is a virtue? Patience really is a virtue. Don't rush perfection. Just kind of let it go itself and wait for the finished product. So now I'm gonna go up just a little bit more on this heat. As you see, all the steam from the liquids is uh, coming out. Now the rest of my butter is melting. Now as that's going, I usually toast my, my bread, but what I'm gonna do with my bread this time is I take this off for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and give a good cut on it and I'm gonna put it right over here, lay it down flat. I like that natural toast. And also I can bring up the flavors from those mushroom and tomatoes. And you want this all to be done at the same time. This makes an excellent breakfast for your husband or your wife or your girlfriend, your boyfriend. You see that starting to cook. And what's happening is all of it, so I'm just stirring it right in because it's still heating, even at this temperature. In just a second, I'm going to put in my secret weapon. Can't go wrong with a tablespoon of creme fraiche. It's going to make it so extra creamy and smooth. Those are perfect eggs for you. I'm going to turn this heat off as these are ready. And as I'm going through, I am going to splash it with a little salt 
And of course, some of my favorite, these fresh chives. To finish this off. Have the mushrooms. Put our tomatoes here. Now we're gonna take these eggs and we're gonna put them right there, nice. These are perfectly cooked eggs with just enough a little bit of everything will make anyone go just absolutely insane. The simple things that are complicated. Try it, trust me, you won't go wrong. <laughs>